Lexington, now home to a mural that represents the Midwest region. Yeah, Gabrielle Mays joins us live from uh, with a closer look at this mural. A really colorful and beautiful Gabrielle. Colorful and beautiful. Imagine being the type of person who can just paint something, right? And then it goes on a canvas, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, my picture is going to be in a mural. Take a look at this. This is so awesome. It's so cool. It's so great to see. And that's exactly what happened here today. A lot of people really excited to see their artwork on display. Three, two, one. With the pull of strings and help from the wind, Port Washington's newest mural is now in its permanent home. It's just so perfect. I mean, there's everything, such professional ones and then just great ones from kids and personal ones. Bridget Molitor's painting is in the middle toward the top, filling the red part of the tree. Mine is the juvenile pop one okay. in honor of Pete's Pops. The project is put on by Mural Mosaic. This is one of five regional art pieces in the country. COVID was a, was a terrible thing that disconnected us and we wanted to do something that could connect people again. That connection comes from artists who paint a tile, take a picture of it, and then Mural Mosaic turns it into a digital collection of all the artists work. Every Every painting is carefully placed in there. It's all done by hand. It's a very handmade mural. The mural designer says the city was chosen because of its beauty and a lot of hard work from Port Washington Main Street's executive director. We're just a great representative of the Midwest. As for Molitor, she says she doesn't consider herself an artist by trade. I have a mom and a sister that are artists, but I just love creative, beautiful things. But do they so. have a mural? No, okay. they do not have a so mural. You do there have you go. <laughs> I'm taking that. Thank you. <laughs> See, she is an artist after all. I'm told 1,500 people participated in the project. Of those, did the count at least 281 are painted by people from Wisconsin. Reporting live in Port Washington, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 6 News. You love a selfie as much as I do. A great place to snap one, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Gabby, thanks.